Hey, what is going on YouTube? It's your boss CB here. So happy to be here with you guys. And today we are back with another video on the Sen vs. Dia series. And we'll be checking out on Sen and Dia mummies. And if you haven't already guys, you guys know the drill. Make sure you guys hit that subscribe button, leave a like. Now let us get straight to the video. So mummies, they're really good support units for Lich Race, but this doesn't mean that these units are really good for PvP. The main purpose of mummies is to resurrect undead units, guys. Now we're gonna check out die mummies in depth right now, so let's go and check that out now. For the first skill, we got Resurrect. So basically, guys, mummies are gonna be resurrecting humanoid corpses. If you are fighting against a ranged unit, it's gonna be resurrecting to a diabolis, and if you are fighting a melee unit, it's gonna be resurrecting to a stalker. So we'll be doing an in-depth resurrection guide in the coming week. So make sure you guys are tuned in for that. Now let's go and check out on the next skill. We got Holy Scepter giving us plus 2 to attack range. And also guys, we got Light Armor. This units receive massive damage from enemy troops. So these units are super squishy, not worth enough to put inside a PvP formation, guys. Now let's go and check out the next skill. We got Undead. Pretty basic stuff for every single Undead Lich units. They are not affected by morale and they are not going to be falling injured. Now let us go and check out the best skill for these dying necrolites. We got Dark Ritual. Increases Resurrect Success Rate by 5% and empowers resurrected units with 50% bonus damage and a shield equivalent to the dying necrolites held for 10 seconds. So the only thing you want to focus on the dying necrolites is the success rate for resurrection guys. So basically, apart from the send ones, these units got 5% more success rate than the send ones guys. So basically, if you want to resurrect units, make sure you guys use only dying necrolites inside your formation. Now let's go check out these dying necrolites in action right now. So we got a couple units over here and we're going to be having fun with these mummies right now. So let's hit the 5 button and let's see the resurrection magic happening on these units guys. So basically right at the start of the battle, we actually going to form an army of units right here guys. Look at the bone soldiers. Pretty much all of these units are melee units so they are going to be getting resurrected to stalkers. And look at the units over here. Pretty much we are forming a big army of units over here. At least 50 units right now. And look at the resurrection happening. And still these units got a shield for 10 seconds based on the health of the die mummies. Look at the units on the map, man. Holy. Wow, man. Look at the units, man. Pretty much we got our 50 units. And if we hit OK after the battle, these units are going to be getting added to your army. And if you guys are wondering what's a red dot on that Necrolites, it is a Degura's necklace on my Avalon. So let's see the stats on this one 600k, 400k, 253k. And let's see the damage taken. None, because we are getting tanked by all those units. And I'm gonna hit OK and see how much units we got right now into our formation, guys. So let's see 90 Bone Stalkers, man. Literally, that is insane. So let's go switch back to Sand Mummies and check them out right now. So let's go and switch back to Sand Necrolites in 3, 2, 1 and boom. Now let us check out the best skill for these Sand Necrolites. We got Atonement. Heals nearby undead units every 12 seconds and grants them 30% damage mitigation for 5 seconds. So this looks too good to be true on the paper. So if you guys are planning on using mummies inside PvP, make sure you guys only use Sand Mummies inside PvP guys. So at least we're gonna get some damage mitigation and also some healing with these mummies. So let's go and check out these Sen mummies in action right now. So we got Sen mummies over here and we got a lot of range units. So that means every single one of these units are gonna be getting restructed to Diabolis. So let's hit the 5 button and let's see the magic happening. So the restruct rate is pretty less for these Sen mummies but still gonna be checking out that healing plus that damage mitigation guys so if you want to use sand mummies in pvp they are a really good option for pvp if you want to use them and look at these diabolis man they are getting resurrected like crazy man look at these units on the map pretty much another 50 to 60 diabolis is going to be getting added to my army right now and this is looking good guys man look at these units man pretty much so easy to farm as lich if you really want to farm a lot of units use couple of set of mummies and boom look at these units on the map right now so we're going to be checking out the stats right now and let's go check them out right now and we got 194 122 and 79k pretty less but we got a lot of damage taken let's see the healing done 408k that is looking pretty good let's see how much units we got resurrected we're going to be hitting okay plus another 100 units man wow 
So that is a Zen versus Dai Necrolyze. So if you guys ask me which is my favorite one, I would say if you want to use Necrolyze in PvP, make sure you guys use Zen Necrolyze. And if you want to use Necrolyze to resurrect Gionis, make sure you guys only use Dire Necrolyze. So that is pretty much it for the video, guys. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you have, make sure you leave a like on this video and don't forget to hit that subscribe button. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Until then, peace out, guys, and have a nice, awesome day. Thank you.